What's going on YouTube? Jeans here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm super excited to be bringing you guys a Swift Swim Kingdra team for Regulation F. Now Kingdra is one of those Pokemon, every time it makes a return into a Pokemon game, it is just top tier in the meta. And I feel as same thing is going to go for Scarlet and Violet because it is just so strong. You pair it up with a rain setter like we have in today's video, we got Pelipper and it just doubles its speed in the rain and it already has a high special attack, so it pretty much just goes crazy from there. King just over here holding the scope lens as item to boost his critical hit ratio and it also has the move focus energy. If you do not know how that combo works, once you set up focus energy, you then crit 100% of the time with the scope lens. So we're going to be trying to pull that off. We got to follow me Pokemon like a Didi. We can redirect shots, set up the focus energy, then get the rain in and have Kingdra just go crazy. Kingdra has Draco Meteor, Scald for two big time stat moves, and then it has Protect for its final move. We got Pelipper over here for our rain setter. Pelipper just so solid on the rain side considering it has great moveset like Hurricane and Tailwind. And in this instance, we also have Protect and Weather Ball. It's hold to focus Sash as item and then obviously that ability sets the rain. We got the Indeedy and Iron Crown combo also on this team, which is a new expanding force combo. Iron Crown has high special attack and it hits really, really hard. This one's holding the Life Orb with expanding force, Tachyon Cutter, Terror Blast and Protect. Then Indeedy's over there kind of just wanting to redirect shots. Final two Pokemon on this team is going to be Incineroar and Urshfu. Incineroar, great in most situations, lower the attack or special attack stat. And Urshfu is just a big time back end attacker, doing some crazy damage at all times. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? We got that rental code in the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my regulation F content goes live. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one. First match coming at you guys, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by the name of Carmen. Carmen, thank you so much for making this team and leaving it over on Twitter. I will be linking their page down in the description below, alongside with all the Pokemon. So if you guys want to check out this team stats, like I said, head down in the description below. But we're going up against a contrary superior team. Already showcased this Pokemon on channel. And let me tell you, this Pokemon is phenomenal. And this might be the exact same team that I used right this might be the exact same team i use but from here i think a solid lead could be kingdra and pelipper right they have no way of weather control so i really like this i'm gonna go kingdra pelipper here right off the rip and in the back end we could go with hmm we could go urshifu we could go urshifu urshifu is definitely not bad especially with choice band and like wicked blow and all that and last but not least incineroar I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. So we're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves one here in match number one. But yeah, they got superior. They could go into multiple different leads. They can lead Cinderwar. They can lead superior alongside with uh, Thunderous. Just boost stats with like scary face and all that. And maybe I should have went into indeed. I could have. I could have just to follow me all those uh all those priority moves such as scary face and eerie impulse just to boost their their stats. But we'll see who they want to lead. And it is gonna be exactly that. So that's a little scary. That is definitely a little scary. <clears throat> but from here, I'm thinking of just scalding and hurricaning into this slot. And the reason I say scald and hurricane is because it kind of covers both things. So I believe Superior's Terra type is going to be uh it's gonna be fire. So if it terrestrializes into fire, it's gonna take some big time damage. If it terrestrializes into or if it doesn't terrestrialize, then Hurricane can still do some nice damage. So, I'm cool with this. I'm definitely cool with this. So, Skull's going to fly through here. He's not going to terrestrialize. And we're going to just chunk up some damage. And Leaf Storm's going to fly across here. Leaf Storm getting off a decent amount of damage and boosting its special attack. Thunderous is now going to go for a Thunderbolt. And luckily enough, my boy's got the Focus Sash. So, Sash is coming out here. Hurricane is still going to land. And we can just get after it that way. Cool. So, bye-bye, Superior. Bye bye, Superior. So, hot start for the Rain Squad. Getting after it here, Master Blue. So, they could go for an Eerie Impulse into my Kingdra, which would be a slight problem. And I'm thinking I might pop a Focus Energy at that point, really depending on who they go into. It's gonna be Fluttermane. I think we should just target down the Fluttermane here. Right? Double down into Fluttermane? I mean, I kind of already know what they're going for, right? I kind of already know what they're going for. Do I Terra and just Scald? Hmm. You know, what? I'm just gonna scald here. And if I could pull off a tailwind, that'd be big. I'm gonna try to get off a tailwind for the squad. 
So let's see what they want to do again. I think they're going to area pulse, but they don't. Maybe I should just terrestrialize my my Kingdra. That's and Gleam's not going to fly, and that's just going to be a double kill. Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind. So Rain Squad going down. We get rid of the Superior. We get to bring out some very strong poop. So now we get to bring out what's it called uh, Urshifu. And I could freely Sucker Punch. Did I did I even bring Urshifu? Yeah, I did bring Urshifu. I was going to say, we definitely brought Urshifu. So from here, I get to go into both of them. I could fake out if I want to. I can just attack if I want to. A lot of different options. Definitely a lot of different options. Huh, it's just such a problem with uh, with what's called right here, Fluttermane on the field. The Fluttermane has got to go. And you know what, to be honest, I'm going to Sucker Punch, and I'm going to fake out the Fluttermane slot. And the reason I say I'm going to fake out the Fluttermane slot is just in case it terrestrializes in the Street Fairy, right? Because then it will be able to eat up the Sucker Punch, but at the same time, we can just make it fun. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to fake I'm gonna fake out the Fluttermane slot. I'm going to fake out a Ghost type just in case he terrestrializes. Because right now, this Pokemon is just a massive threat on the field, and we're going to choose the Sucker Punch. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with this. I actually really hope they go in the fairy type at this point, even though it would be better if they don't. And look at that, yo. Look what you, dude, can I play or can I play? Can I play or can I play? Can I play or can I play? Come on, man. we're faking out this Fluttermane. Come on, man, what a play, what a play. So Fluttermane is gonna get the fake out. You have to do a little clap skis on that thing and maybe Sucker Punch might still be able to KO. Let's see, it does, beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. So Fluttermane is a goner. Get it on out my face. Get it on out my face. I still have Terror type. And maybe I have the Dark Terror type. I actually did not check. I actually did not check. He ends up Thunderbolting Incineroar. And no Paralyze, which is beautiful. They get to bring out their Incineroar. And oh man. I'm choice here. I'm choice in the Sucker Punch, which kind of hurts the soul. It kind of hurts the soul. But I do have, I have Poison Terror type. Do I want to drop poison? Or what's terror type for Incineroar? Grass. Do we really want a terror? Would poison terror type really do anything for me? Not really, right? Not really. So I'm stuck in the sucker punch, which kind of sucks here. And I guess from here, we're just going to take off this thing's item. Or do I double down at this point? No, it's not, we're not going to do that much. We would do more with this. I'm just going to knock off this thing's item. The fake out comes across here. He's going to fake out me. Sucker Punch is coming through here. And he's still doing a nice chunk of damage with the choice span. Thunderbolt's going to fly. And doing, oh, just an absurd amount of damage. All right, this, this, this battle is coming down to the wire. It's coming down to the wire. So we're going to Sucker Punch again. I'm just going to knock off Thunder's item. Hopefully Thunderous is going for attacking move. Okay, cool. So Sucker Punch still being able to do some damage here. Thunderbolt's gonna fly. And we die to that. Oh, we're gonna lose this match. We lose this one-on-one -on -one all day. We lose this one-on-one -on -one all day. That hurts, man. I go for a knockoff and did he dodge that? Oh no, it's me. He's just gonna take off my item. How dare you? My assault vest, which doesn't really matter. So, knockoff comes out here. It turns into a 1v1. And yeah, I don't think we win this matchup unless. There's only one way. There's only one way. And is if we get some crits here. If we get crits and they don't get crits. So I'm going to take off his item. And I'm going to get after it that way. Whatever what's coming in hot here. He outspeeds me too. And I'm able to soak that pretty well. He's going to take some recoil damage. Okay. We like that. Knockoff coming across here. Oh my god. The damage is minimal. We get rid of the Citrus Berry. And man, Incineroar versus Incineroar here just not look good. I could go for a U-turn. See how much damage this does. Flare Blitz coming in hot here again. And we cannot soak up another one. We cannot soak up another Flare Blitz. Hurts the soul, man. Yeah, we're still doing no damage. We're minus one on attack. So GG's to our opponent here. I guess we'll go for a Flare Blitz. But that's going to be game. That's going to be game. Oh, wait. We survive on one. Imagine we won this off of this. Say we get a crit here or something. That'd be wild. But we're going to die to recoil regardless. Yeah. Just not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening. Yo, GG's to our opponent. Great matchup for them. We get Kingdra and Pelper out there early on. Doing work. Let's go hop to our second match. Look for our first win.
Second match on its way. Let's grab ourselves our first win. Going up against an Annihilate and Dragapult team. Alongside with me, Alistic, Milotic, Storm Drain, Gaston, and last but not least, Bishop. So Storm Drain, Gaston, big time issue for us, right? We got the rain squad. We don't like it at all. But what is not a big time issue for us is setting the terrain and getting after it that way. So I'm going to go Iron Crown. I'm going to go Indeedee. It stops her fake out on Meowstic. And on top of that, can't get some work done on the Gaston. But in the back end, I actually really like Kingdra and Pelipper as late game sweepers. So I'm going to bring in the rain squad. Because if I can get rid of Gaston, I can really just start ripping. And even if I don't get off or kill Gaston, I can still hit hard with Draco Meters and with Hurricanes in the rain. So I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. I do not mind it one bit. So, we're gonna try to get some damage off with the uh, expanding force squad and then get Kingdra and Pelipper ripping. But you know what's funny? My Iron Crown video actually featured a very similar team to this, just but just slightly different. But our focus right now is on the Kingdra and Pelipper, trying to showcase them in a video. So hopefully you guys are enjoying and seeing them to their fullest potential. But Dragapult Annihilate kind of scares me, right? Annihilate is always just insanely good and i think actually meowstic and annihilate could be the combo does meowstic learn beat up it might it might because it kind of reminds me of a uh a mouse hold and annihilate combo where you just beat up onto the annihilate that thing just starts doing crazy damage maybe set up a few bulk ups and it kind of just win the match from there for a while now annihilate was top tier in the meta which is phenomenal it was just so good up until i think regulation e I think it was up till regulation E, because that thing was just a menace. Paired up with Mousehold, it was just beat up, and then this thing was just bulking up, getting leftovers, drain punch for HP recovery, just sweeping teams. They end up leading Basharp and Milotic. The Basharp is such a solid lead, it really is. It is such a solid lead here. Because it's a nice little dark type. But it's luckily it's not King Gambit, right? Luckily it's not King Gambit. Um, I could go for Expanded Force just to deal some damage on that. Or I could Water Terror and maybe swap into Pelipper if I want to. But you know what? I'm just going to look to rip up some damage on the Milo slot. And then... Just follow me, right? Yeah, we're just going to go for follow me. Nice, lovely follow me. So we're going to follow me these shots here. They're going to end up Terrasalize Milo tick, And now it's going to be Bisharp. And you're going to go into... Okay, straight Dark type. I was so confused at first. I was like, please tell me you are taking off your dark type. That would be amazing. But it's going to stay dark type. It's just looking for some damage here. And Milo's just going to protect. So smart little protect on their end. Smart little protect on their end. Follow me. He's going to come out here. And expanded force is going to get blocked. It gets blocked. So again, big time plays for them. So now Bisharp goes for a Sword Dance, but since he's just dark, can't I just hit him hard with Steel Moves now? Can't I just do that? Can't I just use, yeah, Tachyon Cutter? And then just helping me this shot? Helping hand? Yeah, it's gonna be my play. Instead of following me, we're just gonna attack this thing. Helping hand coming out here. We're going right after this Bisharp. He's plus two on, uh, on attack. He's looking like a big time threat. Tachyon Cutter is now gonna fly, and we're gonna say bye bye to Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Sword Dance. For what? For what? Just to die. Just to die. So, terrestrializing to go into the Swords Hands is actually a terrible play. If he thought about, like, my moves, like, his typing was so perfect up against me. It really was. They end up dropping an Icy Wind, and I think next turn, we just want to follow me. Probably drop an Expanded Force, right? Nice little follow me, Expanded Force. Yeah, because right now our focus is to just chunk up some damage. And then have Kingdra and Pelipper in the back end just to clean us up. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. So, who are they going to bring in here, though? Annihilate? Maybe. Would I like Annihilate? Not really. I hate going up against Annihilates. They're so annoying, man. <laughs> Alright, bring out a Pokemon. Hit A. Hit the A button. There's only a few buttons on this controller. And Gastron. They have got okay. I'm gonna have to deal with that. You gotta go. You gotta go. So they slowed me down a little bit. I still think follow me is gonna play the play. So I'm just gonna expand in force and follow me. I legit just wanna just wanna uh, let Indeedee die out here and protect my Iron Crown. Protect the Iron Crown. Thing is, if we can set up a Focus Energy, something I realized with Focus Energy 
is if you're critting, you can use Draco Meteor as many times as you want. Because normally Draco Meteor lowers your special attack. But if you're critting, it doesn't even matter, right? You're critting, so your stat changes do not matter. That's actually really cool. I end up dropping a follow me here. Gastron, please come after me. And we're going to attack this thing with Expanding Force. E-Force coming out here. I love how it's little horns that can wiggle up and down. Expanding Force doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And Earth Power is going to fly into Indini. Doing a nice chunk of damage. Um, from here... I mean, might as well drop another Expanded Force, right? And then just follow me the shots. I'm cool with that. I am very cool with that. So follow me, follow me, follow me. <laughs> Expanding Force all day. Let's see what they end up doing. Surf comes out. Surf comes out from Milo Milo. The so Surf going to chunk up some... Oh, nice chunk of damage. But Expanded Force is going to take out the Gastron. That's some big time damage. We're not playing around with this. We are not playing around with this. And honestly, let's see who they go into. It's gonna be Annihilate. Okay, so I was expecting them to go into Annihilate a little bit ago. And honestly, uh... Hmm. They're gonna Terrasalize. They're gonna Terrasalize. I might just protect. And try to just do damage this way. I think he Terrasalizes Annihilate, to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna protect my Iron Crown, let it live another turn, and kind of get after that way. Because I think they protect the Milotic too. I think it goes protect Terrasalize for the most part. But I still feel as we're relatively in a pretty good spot. Because once Indeed dies out, I can bring out Kingdra and then swap the Iron Crown for Pelipper, drop Draco Meteors, and rip from there. But they don't Terrasalize, which is very odd. I could have just expanded Force there. I could have just expanded Force. I could have just explained force. Okay, whatever. It's fine. I end up dropping out with Indeedee. Annihilate's gonna come out here. And yeah, I think my play is just rather simple, right? I think my play is just rather simple. Go into King Dress, swap into Pelipper, Drake a Meteor down the, uh, the Annihilate. Actually, we might not even need. I don't even think we need. I don't even think we need Pelipper here, right? No, because Pelipper's just gonna cause problems for us. It really is. Pelper just causes more problems than anything. So, I'm just going to go for Expanded Force here. And I'm just going to Draco Meteor you. Yeah, I'm cool with that. We don't need Pelper. We don't need Rain. We already outspeed. The Rain is only there for Water Damage Boost or Speed Boost. And in this instance, we already outspeed and we're using a Dragon. So, it works perfectly. Draco Meteor flies through. Bye bye, Annihilate. And we get the crit with the Scope Lens. Get it on out of here. Get it on out my face. We love it. We love a good old scope lens Kingdra. Icy Wind's gonna fly here. That's no problem. My Pokemon soak. And I think my Pokemon's still out speed. Maybe not Iron Crown, because I think he's minus two at this point. But Kingdra definitely does. Expanded Force comes in hot. Should be able to finish off this Milotic, and it does. Our first win on the board. We're now one and one. Let's go hop into our third and look for a winning record. Time to grab ourselves a winning record. We're sitting one and one. Would love to go two and one for today's video and use Kingdra a little bit more in this third and final match. But we're going up against, oh, oh, a five team team, a five team team. We're going Kingdra. We're going Indeed. We are setting up this focus energy. We're going up against Hantra, which is an absolute dog. I love that Pokemon so much, but I think we should just go Indeed and Kingdra here and then in our final slot, right? Come on, this match should be easy for us. We should have a nice gimme here in match number three and showcase the full power of Kingdra. It's Kingdra, oh my god. So sick Pokemon. I love it. I love it so much. Hits so hard in the rain. I'm going to tr actually try to focus energy here. That's why I led it with Ndidi. A little bit of follow me action. A little bit of focus energy. And then just maybe swap into Pelipper. Terrasalize Scald. Big time damage. Big time damage in the rain when it's critting. Big time damage. A little too much damage there. No too much damage. They end up going Earthworm alongside with Honchkrow. Honchkrow. I love Honchkrow. Big Daddy Honchkrow. With the cat. The feather hat. Looking sick. Looking so dope. But yeah, Focus Energy. My play all day. I'm going to follow me even though that is a dark type. But I think they're just going to set up a Tailwind regardless. We'll see. We'll see. It ends up going for a nice simple body press. 
doing actually a good amount of damage. But Rocky Helmet fights back, deals some damage that way, and the energy is being focused. We're here. We are here. He ends up going for a Night Slash, and that probably KOs me, right? Yeah. Gone. Gone. Rocky Helmet's gonna do some damage. Alright. So which Pokemon am I KOing first? Who's dead here? Who's dying? Who's dead? Because we got Pelipper coming in hot. We got Pelper coming in hot. So Rain Squad's here. I get to pick and choose who I want instead. And to be honest, I want that Honchkrow dead. Even though I love it, I want Honchkrow dead. So I'm going to do that, and I'm also going to go into a Weather Ball <clears throat> into the Honchkrow slot. And the reason I'm going double down to the Honchkrow slot is just in case for some reason Kingdra doesn't kill here. But I think it does. But you never know. You never know. You never know with this game. A lot of 1 HP bandits been out on the loose recently, so. We'll terrestrialize. As long as this Honchko doesn't protect, we should be chilling. We got that Water Terror. We got Focus Energy cooking. And we should say bye bye to Honchko. Get it on out of here, right? You're dead. You're gone. Yeah, get it on out of here. <laughs> Focus Energy critting for us with the scope lens. And now Weather Ball will just slide over. Body Press coming in hot here. And we soak pretty well. Beautiful. Weather Ball, how much damage are you doing? That's the real question. Oh, wow. Pelipper. Paloops. Pelipper, chill. Chill, Pelipper. But a good thing about being able to crit every shot is I can freely go in the Draco Meteor if I wanted to. Even with the stat changes, it does not matter. We have a Psychic Terrain out here, so this Meowstic cannot fake out, which is massive. And Floor just is going to come out here. Floor just is coming out here. Um, I'm actually just going to scroll down to Floor just and go into a hurricane in this slot. Actually, would Weather Ball do more damage? No, I think this might do more damage. The so battle was canceled, and nice little sweep here. Actually, not a sweep. Big time work from Kingdra here in match number three. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one for today's video, fully showcasing this Scope Lens Kingdra team. Now, Kingdra, like I said, and like you guys seen, absolutely amazing Pokemon and so much fun to use. This one was a bit different from normal, considering a lot of times you just roll out with Pelipper and Kingdra, and you pretty much throw the Life Orb on it to as much damage. This time, we had to kind of get Indeedee in the mix, follow me, pop that Focus Energy, and then from there, you guys seen it in third and final match, it was just hitting like a truck, making our last opponent cancel the match. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.